Ah, it's good to be back for another video. Today is going to be a little different than the normal response type videos I do. I was introduced by Ashley to a preacher named Brother Dean. Now, I don't know anything about this guy. I've never heard of him before, but I have seen plenty of preachers in my lifetime. There were some that were not too disrespectful and spent their time mainly preaching good morals that God teaches in the Bible. Uh, about these people, I understand you want to spread love and peace, but essentially what you're doing is picking and choosing from the Bible. Your holy book has some pretty horrible stuff in it, and I'm glad most Christians reject those, but the fact that you have to cherry pick really does say something about your religion. All in all, if you're promoting love and respect, I won't have a problem. However, there are some preachers who are extremely rude, such as Dean here. These are the type that shout to people that they are going to burn in hell. Fuck these preachers. You need to change! You need to change your life! Your life is not worth much! Look at this guy. It almost feels as if preachers like him have nothing better to do. Take a look at the video title. Phoenix Preachers. Pools. And look at that over there. That is a swimming pool. I don't understand why he would choose a swimming pool to preach this kind of stuff. Is swimming suddenly a sin now? Okay, okay, you know what? Let's give this guy a fucking chance, right? Let's hear what he has to say. You have chosen not to teach your children about Jesus Christ. How the fuck do you know they haven't taught their children about Jesus Christ? Can you magically tell these people aren't Christian? You preachers just generalize everyone here to be atheists. Well, that's not exactly how it works. Sure, whatever, it's not a big deal. You can make the assumption that only atheists will listen and any Christian there will just shrug their shoulders and move on or support you, but still. I'm sure a lot of Christians also find your shit annoying. Either way, these people are here trying to enjoy their day at a pool. The last thing they want to hear is your goddamn megaphone. And for that, you're gonna burn. You're gonna go to hell. You're gonna burn forever. Shame on you, mom and dad. <laughs> I don't know if you guys caught that, but there was someone in the background saying fuck you. Oh, and apparently Brother Dean is not alone. He has a sidekick, who I don't really know his name, but at this point I don't really care. Going to prison if you'd only teach them about Jesus. Maybe they wouldn't be getting shot dead in the streets if you'd just teach them about Jesus. Wow, that is quite the assumption you made there. That people get shot dead because they don't learn about Jesus? For fuck's sake, dude. Do you guys have, like, no more arguments to make that you had to pull that out? But you don't teach them about the love of Jesus, so they think they need to join a gang. They think they need to join homosexuality. No, they don't. You might as well just say the earth is flat. <sighs> okay, I'm getting a little tired of this. He just basically says the same thing over and over again. So I'm going to move on to video number two. Here's Dean at a high school, apparently called Cactus High School. Hello, this is Cactus High School. This is the preaching at um, this high school, and we are out here just to proclaim the name of Jesus Christ, to tell people about um, heaven and hell, and uh, this next generation is going to hell. Wow, what a bold claim there. This generation is going to hell. Most of them don't know God. They don't like what they know of God. So we're just out here um, with, these, with these boys and girls just to talk to them about Jesus Christ. You don't do any talking to them. You just preach into a megaphone or shout at the top of your lungs. How is that a conversation? You guys here at Cactus need to repent. You need to change your wicked ways. Your evil ways. Oh my god, I almost feel bad for this guy. But I'm not going to because I hate preachers like him who preach to schools or colleges. Dean is trying to infect the minds of young individuals who are on their journey to learning science and reasoning. How dare you try to take over their real education? Okay, let's move on to our next video. You spend more time with lies than you do the truth. Have you guys been to Comic Con or Anime Expo or any other big event? I guarantee that you'll find preachers there. This video here is at Comic Con. You need the truth of the Bible, not the lie of Superman. Superman can't 
saved you. Batman can't save you. Hi, yay, yay. I'm sorry. No one believes that Superman or Batman are real. And certainly no one believes they will quote unquote save them. I don't really know why you have such a big problem with Comic-Con. Even the Christians here aren't going to replace Jesus with superhero characters. I mean, it's not like that would matter anyway since both are fiction. Uh, what are you saying again? Your anime addiction is hurting you, nerds! Oh, I see. So he's against anime addiction. Well, first of all, anime is for Anime Expo. This is not anime, you fucking little piece of shit! Your anime addiction is hurting you. It's not helping you. You are going to burn in hell. When did God ever condemn anime or superhero comics? Like, I would love to see the line where it says, Thou shalt not plunge oneself into anime. Okay, since the Bible doesn't directly state that, I'm assuming that you think that there's some deeper interpretation of it. Like, I don't know, somehow you think anime equals hentai or some shit. In this case, I would kindly like to remind you that this isn't anime, and also that hentai is only a tiny category of anime. Saying anime is the same thing as hentai is equal to saying that all white people are racist. Oh no, I brought up SJWs in an analogy, what have I done? Also, there's nothing wrong with hentai. Your religion is just stupid and it robs away the pleasure of others. If it doesn't harm anyone else, I don't see why you would care. If you think it's hot here, wait till you burn up in hell! God doesn't believe in atheists! <laughs> God doesn't believe in atheists. That's pretty funny. What a coincidence. We don't believe in God either. You need to stop using cosplay as a reason to dress immodestly. What? Why do you care how people dress? You're just saying anything you can think of, even if it's bullshit, in a sorry attempt to support your position. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. You just shut your fucking mouth. You are wasting your life playing video games. You are wasting your life in your mom's basement and not getting a real job. Is that really a real sin? Living in your mom's basement and not getting a real job? Okay, look, these people are most likely not addicts. They are decent people who have either school or work, but at the same time, they have a passion for comics. What's wrong with that? It's entertainment to them. What, next you're going to preach at a basketball court and tell them that basketball addiction will send them to hell? Alright, I can't get through the rest of the video. If you guys want to see the rest of the shit from Dean's videos, you can find them in the description below. But for now, there's one more last video I want to briefly touch. This one's pretty funny. Usually we fight against Christianity, we fight against Islam, but fairly rarely do you see Christianity fight against Islam. Let's take a look. You know that Islam will kill you just for what you're wearing right now? Horrible religion! Bad religion! Wicked religion! Islam is of the devil! It doesn't glorify God! The Bible says, honor the sun! The same way you honor God. That's what the Bible says. Islam does not believe that Jesus is the Son of God. God damn it, dude. Can he not use such dramatic music? Oh, yeah, I know this isn't Dean himself, but they're all together. Oh, let's keep watching. This really is quite entertaining for an atheist. You want to know how a Muslim evangelizes? Your prophet is a pedophile. Your prophet is a pedophile. Mohammed is a child molester. Mohammed is a liar. To any Muslims who are watching this, atheists aren't your only enemy. Just take a look at all the shit Christianity gives you. Not saying that this guy in the video is necessarily wrong, by the way. But I need to point out the fact that you scrutinize and undermine the religions of others but have yet to take a close look at your own religion. Because if you did, you'd be an atheist. Oh, you think this is wrong? This is what your Mohammed will look like. He's a pervert, a liar of the devil. Jesus Christ is, you would obey 
him. Once you taste of Jesus Christ, you don't thirst of another person. Once you truly taste of Jesus Christ, you're not hungry after Mohammed. You're not hungry after Buddha. You've had your fill. You should be content. This is your wake-up call, students. And that's where the video ends. Uh, I was having so much fun watching that too. Okay, so that's all the videos I've planned to show you today. If you want to see more Brother Dean, you can take a look at his channel, although it's pretty cringeworthy. As always, I will have the links in the description for you guys. So tell me, what was your most interesting encounter with the street preacher? Comment in the comment section. I would love to hear your stories. My own most interesting experience was when a street preacher was screaming at a college campus, ALL YOUR PROFESSORS ARE LYING TO YOU! He then proceeded to walk up to students who were walking by and saying, You think we came from monkeys? You think you're a monkey? Ooh, ah. I shit you not, he actually made the monkey sounds in front of the faces of students. Ah, <sighs> I wish I actually recorded that moment. It would have been really fun to show you guys. But for now, use your own fucking imagination!